Hey, this is Interpol, and you're watching our ADD bio. I tried to be trying to rap in there. Really high energy and maybe a little bit spastic. Um, we go to New York and we would, you know, shop those demos yeah, or whatever. Yeah, jams, man. <laughs> you know, I go, I knew when Oscar saw that was like... And you are watching our ADD, ADD bio. bio. ADD bio. ADD bio. ADD bio. Yeah. I've been looking to uh, form a band. Carlos and I met in 1997. NYU. In a World War I history course. That's very rock and roll. Because he had these, these shoes that were very much like the ones I had, so we just struck up a conversation about music. And I met Paul, he told me he played guitar and sang, and Sam joined the band in 2000. It's like, yeah, Interpol, like, you should just join that band. Came down to one rehearsal, and like uh, a piece of the puzzle. Somebody asked, like, what is this? I was like, it's my new band. We paid our dues in a lot of ways. Before the band signed, I was doing data entry. I was pretty good at that. We made our first demo in summer of 98, and we didn't put out our first record until August 2002. I uh, bought and sold vintage clothing. Most bands don't just kick around for four years. They kind of give up after a certain point in time. Working as a secretary at the psychology department. We got turned down by so many labels. After we got signed, I was working at a cafe on Broadway. It made our foundation a little bit stronger. It's about like a mission, accomplishing certain goals. I'm doing this for this moment. It means a lot to each person. If no one ever hears that song, that doesn't matter. Uh, the spring of 2001, uh, we got an invitation to do a Peel session in the UK. And two of those songs from that Peel session ultimately led to the interest of Matador Records. How are things on the West Coast? I hear you moving real fine. You wear those shoes like a dove. We never had a discussion about like this is how we dress like. We wouldn't play in anything else, I think. It's way too late. To be this New York has never stopped its output in music. This is the meeting ground. It goes back to like Velvet Underground. Remember that band? We're musicians that have chosen to be in the city, seeking the attention that the city has. And that's part of the foundation of the band. This record, we didn't think about how it was going to be received. It was more just making sure that we were putting out the record that we wanted to release right now. It's hard to make it perfect in everyone's minds. So you don't think outside of any other terms besides what we're trying to say, what we're trying to do. We're all individually perfectionists. New directions and sounds and so forth. We just do what we love to do and we hope that people enjoy it. But today, 